In this training video, we will take a more detailed look at the copying and pasting function with a specific focus on working within a single instance of Song Surgeon. And by instance, I simply mean with one Song Surgeon window open, not multiple Song Surgeon windows. So let's start with the simplest situation, and that would be copying and pasting mono data, which is what I have on the screen. And you can tell it's mono data because of the fact that there is no left and right track that appear here on the screen. There's only a single set of data that's plotted in the middle. So what we're going to be doing is copying this data and pasting it back into this same window of Song Surgeon. So let's go ahead and select some of this data in the window and I'm going to do this arbitrarily. So I've made a selection of data. I'm going to copy it by using a keyboard command, Control C. You can obviously go up to the Edit button and do Copy. That would do the same thing. Once we've copied it, next we're going to paste it. And I select the Paste command, and this dialog window opens. And let's just briefly talk about this. At the top of this dialog window, left, right, and both, this top area is grayed out simply because we are copying mono data into a mono track, and so there is no left or right track, nor are there both tracks. What we simply have to work with is this bottom area here, which says beginning, current position, or end. And these are fairly self-explanatory. By beginning, we mean just that, and end, we mean at the end of the song, and current position would be wherever the progress indicator is positioned within the song. Now, in this case, the progress indicator is at the beginning, so essentially, current position and beginning would be the same. But if the progress indicator were out here somewhere in the middle, then that's where this insertion would take place. So in this particular instance, I'm going to take this data and let's insert it at the end. Click OK. And you should be able to see this data then inserted at the end. Right now, this song that's loaded is just under three minutes. Let's go ahead and execute this command. And you can see here's where it was. And this is the part or the piece of data that we've copied and pasted into this file. So working with mono data is really fairly straightforward. Next, we're going to move to working with stereo data. Copying stereo data into stereo data is straightforward. Here I've selected a segment of the stereo data. I do a control C for keyboard shortcut going to go to paste then and now again let's take a look at this dialog window. The top section is grayed out. It is inactive because in this case we are pasting stereo data into stereo data. So there's a match and there's no need for us to be using these options and that's why they are grayed out. So we are left with beginning, current, and end again. And again, we have this positioned at the end, and let's go ahead and execute this command. And when, you, when we do this, you can see that we're going to append this data to the end of the existing file. And there you can see the data that we've added. However, with a stereo file, you do have the option of selecting data from only one channel rather than both. This is what we did last time, but what if we select from only one channel, let's say down here. So I'm going to do Edit copy. So I've copied this data. And now let's do paste and take a look at what happens. In this particular situation, things begin to get more complex because now this top area is no longer grayed out. And we have the option of taking this piece of data from one channel and inserting it into the left channel, which would be the top channel, the right channel here at the bottom, or both. And we can insert that at the beginning, current, or end position. So that's one set of options that we have. The other thing that becomes even more complex, and I say complex, I don't want to scare you with that word. It really is more powerful because it gives you the most flexibility. But if we select one channel or the other rather than both, let's select left, then this bottom checkbox becomes enabled and it says maintain channel sync. What does that mean? Well, if we take a selection of data, which we have here, and we paste this only into the left channel, that's going to make the left channel longer than the right channel. And when we do that, we're going to lose the synchronicity between the two channels. Song Surgeon allows us to maintain the synchronicity by simply inserting silence at the insertion point. And by doing that, whatever is inserted in one channel, corresponding silence is inserted in the other, and it maintains 
and, and by doing that, the channels are maintained at the same length and they will continue to be in sync when you play them back. Let's take a look at how this all works. So if we insert in both, here's our insertion point, the synchronicity is going to be maintained and therefore this checkbox is grayed out. We don't need it. Let's go ahead and do that. There it is. We've inserted a chunk of data right here, right in front of this insertion point. Let me undo it. Okay, let's go back to edit, paste again, and this time let's select left. So that says we're going to take that chunk of data we had copied to our clipboard and we're going to paste it into the left channel. Now in this case I'm going to leave this checkbox selected which says maintain channel sync and when I do that watch what happens. It inserts silence and you can see this flat line down here. And what that allows us to do, therefore, is to maintain the synchronicity. So as this plays back, obviously anything before the paste is going to be synchronized. And after the paste, this data here is not going to be coupled with anything below it. Therefore, it will sound fine. And then when we get to the end of the song, the remaining part of the song here will remain synchronized because we inserted silence. So this top area is exactly synchronized with this bottom area. Now let's undo this again, and this time let's select Paste, select Left, and let's uncheck this, okay? And when we do that, what you're going to see is that the length of these two channels will now be different. And at the point that we insert, which is right here, we lose the synchronicity. So I'm going to grab this and drag it back, and you can see that the left channel is much longer than the right channel and that means right at this point here where the insertion point was for the paste command the data from this point forward if you were to play it back and I'm not going to do it would sound like two different songs playing at the same time because that's essentially what you're doing so that will conclude this training video on copying and pasting within a single instance of song searching